it's unbelievable to me the way this works. The Japanese government is now going to start experiments on decontaminating soil. And after three months of experimentation, they'll decide on what to implement. Uh, it seems to me that this sort of experimentation should have happened long before the application to even build a nuclear facility was made. You know, how do you, how do you get into something like this without that sort of investigation beforehand? Where, who's their insurer, insurer, you know, what, how, how do you assess the potential and insure a company or a facility in that way you know and obviously they're not insured to the point where they can can pay everybody out who's gonna feel effects from this they have to get support and um, you know financial aid from from the government where's that gonna come from that's just crazy I don't I don't understand I have some theories um, that are ridiculously optimistic um, okay here we go I think I think maybe it's all intentional yes not for the well maybe in part for the you know population control just knock us down a few million um, but more importantly we need to uh, acclimatize ourselves as humans to radiation in preparation for the um, evacuation of planet Earth. You with me? I mean, we got to get out of here. If you if you play this story forward a bit, and uh, you know, look at potential endings, uh, I think it's pretty clear we got to go. And, you know, our atmosphere protects us to some degree from the radiation of space. Maybe, uh, maybe that's what it's about. I guess a less optimistic uh, scenario is that it was all, um, you know, a, a terrorist act by China. Uh, they were hoping the winds would blow the other way and it would be a sort of cheap passive way to enforce the one child policy uh, yeah that's hopefully way too ridiculous but I mean the name of the game now is pushing the ridiculous and getting us acclimatized to the absurd hang on <laughs>